I was a Sonoma County Supervisor from 1981 to 1997, and I've lived in Sonoma County since 1969. I uh, have witnessed the uh, transformation of the grape industry in Sonoma County up close and personal. Uh, we've probably gone from 50 to 400 wineries in the last 25 years. We saw wineries moving in in a new form, and that form was like an event center more than the old-fashioned family-type uh, winery. And event centers basically uh, may or may not make the wine on site, but they will have a commercial kitchen, they will have a uh, sewage disposal, a package treatment plant of some kind, and the business plan is to bring hundreds, if not thousands of people uh, on weekends uh, simply to drink wine and to sell spirits to them. It's not like the old farm uh, where the family had wine tasting and people would come in. Much bigger buildings, uh, more traffic, more people coming in, more water use, and of course more impact upon the land. We don't really think it's uh, agriculture. It's more of an industrial, uh, uh, commercial kind of a process, uh, and they should be in, in the cities, and they should be in uh, sewered areas uh, that are planned for commercial and industrial use. The county of Sonoma uh, has rules on the book that prevent restaurants, agricultural land, for instance. Uh, they also in the past didn't allow these package treatment plants uh, spread around the county. But there's a clause in the general plan that if you're promoting local agricultural products, read wine in this case, that you can uh, basically establish your kitchen, have your uh, commercial uh, waste disposal, and you can do all this out in Agland. So this is a gradual change that crept into the county uh, because of the influence of uh, the wine industry on the Board of Supervisors and on the process. Uh, the wine industry has two full-time lobbyists that uh, come to the Board of Supervisors and make their point known. Some of the supervisors have received, uh, shall we say, copious amounts of money from the industry. Uh, the last election there was almost uh, $200,000 uh, that went to one candidate from the industry. We're seeing that repeat itself now. We've outstripped the general plan by double of what the environmental documentation call for. So the county plans are out of whack. They're not enforcing the rules they have. And most of us see that uh, as because of the uh, influence of the wine industry on the Board of Supervisors. We love the wine economy, that's not the issue, but it's changed to the extent that uh, they even want to have direct flights in and out of our small airport to Salt Lake City and San Diego so that they can have corporate retreats out in the wine country. Well, that's fine, but we say get thee uh, to an industrial center, get thee to a city. This should be sewered and watered. Uh, agricultural land should be for agriculture. That's the genesis of Preserve Rural Sonoma County.